Deuteronomy Chapter 11 Therefore you shall love Jehovah your God and keep his charge and his statutes and his judgments and his commandments always. And realize today that I am speaking not with your sons, who do not know and who have not seen the discipline of Jehovah your God, his greatness, his mighty hand and his outstretched arm. And his signs and works, which he did in the midst of Egypt against Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and against all his land. And what he did to Egypt's forces, to their horses and to their chariots, when he caused the water of the Red Sea to flow over them while they were pursuing you, and Jehovah made them perish to this day. And what he did for you in the wilderness until you came to this place. And what he did to Dathan and Abram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, when the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up and their households and their tents and all their substance that went with them, from the midst of all Israel. But it is your eyes that have seen all the great work of Jehovah which he did. Therefore you shall keep the whole commandment which I am commanding you today so that you may be strong and that you may go in and possess the land into which you are crossing over to possess. And so that you may extend your days upon the ground which Jehovah swore to your fathers, to give to them and to their seed, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land which you are entering in to possess is not like the land of Egypt, from which you came forth, where you used to sow your seed and water by foot as in a vegetable garden. But the land into which you are crossing over to possess is a land of mountains and valleys, by virtue of heaven's rain, it drinks in water. It is a land which Jehovah your God cares for, always the eyes of Jehovah your God are upon it, from the beginning of the year even to the end of the year. And if you are certain to listen to my commandments, which I am commanding you today, to love Jehovah your God and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. I will give rain for your land in its season, the early rain and the late rain, so that you may gather your grain and your new wine and your fresh oil. And I will put grass in your field for your cattle, and you will eat and be satisfied. Be careful lest your heart be deceived, and you turn aside and serve other gods and bow down to them. And the anger of Jehovah burn against you and he shut up heaven, so that there is no rain and the earth does not yield its produce and you perish quickly from off the good land which Jehovah is giving you. Therefore you shall lay these words of mine on your heart and on your soul, and you shall bind them on your hand as a sign, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall teach them to your children, speaking about them when you sit in your house and when you journey on the way, and when you lie down and when you rise up. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. That your days may be multiplied, as well as the days of your children, upon the land which Jehovah swore to your fathers to give them, as long as the days of heaven are above the earth. For if you are certain to keep all this commandment which I am commanding you to do, to love Jehovah your God, to walk in all his ways and hold fast to him. Jehovah will dispossess all these nations from before you, and you will dispossess nations greater and mightier than you. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads will be yours, from the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even to the farmost sea will be your territory. No man will be able to stand against you, Jehovah your God will put the dread and fear of you upon all the land on which you tread, as he has spoken to you. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you listen to the commandments of Jehovah your God, which I am commanding you today. And the curse, if you do not listen to the commandments of Jehovah your God and you turn aside from the way which I am commanding you today, to go after other gods whom you have not known. And when Jehovah your God brings you into the land which you are entering to possess, you shall put the blessing upon Mount Gerizim and the curse upon Mount Ebel. Indeed they are across the Jordan beyond the western road in the land of the Canaanites, who dwell in the Arabah before Gilgal beside the Terebinths of Moor. 
For you are about to cross over the Jordan to enter and possess the land which Jehovah your God is giving you, and you will possess it and dwell in it. Therefore be certain to do all the statutes and judgments that I am setting before you today. Deuteronomy Chapter 12 These are the statutes and the judgments that you shall be certain to do in the land which Jehovah, the God of your fathers, has given you to possess, all the days that you live on the earth. You shall completely destroy all the places where the nations whom you will dispossess have served their gods, on the high mountains and on the hills and under every flourishing tree. And you shall tear down their altars and crush their pillars, and their ashiras you shall burn with fire, and the idols of their gods you shall cut down, and you shall destroy their name from that place. You shall not do so to Jehovah your God but to the place which Jehovah your God will choose out of all your tribes to put his name, to his habitation, shall you seek, and there shall you go. And there you shall bring your burnt offerings and your sacrifices and your tithes and the heave offering of your hand and your vows and your freewill offerings and the firstborn of your herd and of your flock. And there you shall eat before Jehovah your God, and you and your household shall rejoice in all your undertakings, in which Jehovah your God has blessed you. You shall not do according to all that we do here today, each man doing all that is right in his own eyes. For until now you have not come to the rest and to the inheritance that Jehovah your God is giving you. But when you cross over the Jordan and dwell in the land which Jehovah your God is giving you as an inheritance, and when he gives you rest from all your enemies surrounding you so that you dwell securely. Then to the place where Jehovah your God will choose to cause his name to dwell, there you shall bring all that I am commanding you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes, and the heave offering of your hand and all your choice vows which you vow to Jehovah. And you shall rejoice before Jehovah your God, you and your sons and daughters, and your male servants and female servants, and the Levite who is within your gates, for he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Be careful that you do not offer up your burnt offerings in every place that you see. But in the place which Jehovah will choose in one of your tribes, there you shall offer up your burnt offerings, and there you shall do all that I am commanding you. Yet you may slaughter and eat meat within all your gates, in all that your soul desires, according to the blessing of Jehovah your God which he has given you, the unclean and the clean may eat it, as the gazelle and the deer. However, you shall not eat the blood, you shall pour it out upon the earth like water. You may not eat within your gates the tithe of your grain or of your new wine or of your fresh oil, nor the firstborn of your herd or of your flock, or any of your vows which you vow or of your freewill offerings or of the heave offering of your hand. But you shall eat them before Jehovah your God in the place which Jehovah your God will choose, you and your son and daughter, and your male servant and female servant, and the Levite who is within your gates, and you shall rejoice before Jehovah your God in all your undertakings. Be careful that you do not forsake the Levite all your days upon the earth. When Jehovah your God enlarges your territory, as he has promised you, and you say, I will eat meat, because your soul desires to eat meat, you may eat meat according to all that your soul desires. If the place where Jehovah your God will choose to put his name is too far away from you, you may slaughter from your herd and from your flock, which Jehovah has given you, as I have commanded you and you may eat within your gates according to all that your soul desires. Indeed, as the gazelle and the deer are eaten, so you may eat it, the unclean and the clean may eat it alike. But make sure that you do not eat the blood, for the blood is the life, and you shall not eat the life with the flesh. You shall not eat it, you shall pour it out upon the earth like water. You shall not eat it, so that it may go well with you and with your children after you, when you do what is right in the sight of Jehovah. But you shall take your holy things which you have and your vows, 
and go to the place which Jehovah will choose. And you shall offer your burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, upon the altar of Jehovah your God, and the blood of your sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of Jehovah your God, and you shall eat the flesh. Keep and listen to all these words which I am commanding you so that it may go well with you and with your children after you forever, for you will be doing what is good and right in the sight of Jehovah your God. When Jehovah your God cuts off the nations before you, which you are entering to dispossess, and you dispossess them and dwell in their land. Be careful that you are not ensnared in following them, after they have been destroyed before you, and that you do not seek after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods, so that I also may do likewise? You shall not do so for Jehovah your God, for every abomination to Jehovah, which he hates, they have done to their gods, for even their sons and their daughters they have burned with fire to their gods. The whole thing that I am commanding you, you shall be certain to do, you shall not add to it, nor shall you take away from it.